Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So today we're actually converting the S2000 motor from the drive-by cable system to drive-by wire. So we have to change over a few sensors, a few gears, uh, change the valve cover, a couple of things like that. This is our fourth trip to Honda. That traffic though, over there on the other side, not having it. No, sir. I will not be a victim to traffic. Not today. And I got stuck in traffic. I guess you just can't never win. And we also have to stop at another Honda dealership, pick up some more parts. If you guys ever need to connect with Honda, make sure you guys come to Honda Lemon Grove and you come see my boy Joel. He's one of the best, he's honest, he'll take care of you. So that's uh, one of my main recommendations. If you guys got a Honda, you're in San Diego, come to Honda Lemon Grove, come ask for Joel. He's a service advisor, you're good to go. So, as you see, we got everything all lined up right now. We stopped by Honda and picked up all OEM fluids, everything directly from Honda. So if we're gonna do it, we're gonna do this thing right. I'm actually over here with my boys Rafa and Dylan. They're out here degreasing the engine right now and- Gotta make it look nice, pretty. Come on, come on. I have a lot of faith in, uh, in Rafa. He was the guy who actually pulled the engine out for me. So he's dropping it back in. He's one of the best in San Diego. This guy is the old motor, the 08 one that came out. And uh, we're gonna convert a couple of parts off of this guy and put it onto the new F22 motor. I'll come through. So, to my knowledge, we are going to be swapping the cog gear for the timing on the crank and on the cam sensors. So today we're faced with swapping all that. We're gonna reseal the timing cover, get the oil pan off, clean that guy up and get everything sealed up and nicely just how it should. And then hopefully we should have it back inside of here. Ah, oh, my baby. Hopefully get it inside there today. We got a little small tech tip right here. Um, we're using a plastic cookie wheel to clean all this aluminum surface. You cannot use any type of wire brush or anything. Um, as we all know, aluminum is pretty soft and this guy is the only thing that will effectively clean it but not lower the tolerances on the timing cover. So go ahead and it leaves it with a nice super clean finish. So when we go ahead and put that Honda Bond on there, we can guarantee that it's going to stick and we're not going to have no leaks. Dylan over here getting down on uh, the valve cover right now. A little bit of this meticulous cleaning here, you know? I would say the number one rule to have maximum sealing surface with gaskets RTV is to maintain a super clean finish on whatever you're cleaning. I guarantee you can have it as clean as you can eat off of it, it will not leak. Okay, so we finally have the front timing cover on, we have the oil pan on, we have the flywheel, clutch flywheel is going to be on there. Um, next we're going to be putting the clutch disc and we're going to put the pressure plate. And then after that, we should be buttoning up all the hoses, wiring harness, mating the transmission to the engine and be dropping it in. How are you doing over there, Dylan? Well, I'm all good. You know, just meticulous cleaning once again, you know. Hey bro, you've been holding it down, uh, just making sure everything looks like perfect, like almost as if it was brand new. So uh, yeah, thank you for all of your all of your help and all your hard work, man. Well, you know, it's no problem. Do it right the first time, you don't have to do it the second time. That's right. That's why I trust these guys, I swear. They're, uh, they're detailed, very, very detailed. Two hours later. We got the engine basically ready to go ahead and drop in to the S the heartless s2000 um my boy 
Carrie Brown came into the picture. Yeah, he showed up. Thanks for, for rolling through, bro. Rafa and Dylan have been going hard. So uh, we had to get them a little bit of Carl's Jr. Go ahead and get them some grub. No, we're not sponsored by Carl's Jr. However, if they would like to be a sponsor in our next video, uh, we no, would not. Definitely not sponsored by Carl's Jr. <laughs> hey, if they give us free Beyond Burgers, I'm not mad. All right. All right, so that being said, we're gonna go ahead and let the boys finish up eating, and then afterwards, we're gonna go ahead and put the motor in the S. So we finally got her in there, motor bounce are all attached, and uh, the boys are just doing uh, the last minute touch-ups, just trying to connect all the electrical, all the plumbing, aka all the hoses and everything, back into place. And uh, as you see, we got a pretty little sunset going on in the background. So we're, uh, we're, we're, we're killing it right now. Coolant's in, fluids are ready. Time for the real first start, seeing, uh, seeing where we go. Here we go. That's right, boys. Turn it up. We got him. Three weeks later. So what's up, guys? We've had a lot of things going on, such as rain hit us, coronavirus hit us. Uh, there's been so many things to where we couldn't even go out and drive so it's been a hard time trying to get the first shoot of us driving the S2000. Another reason that we couldn't drive is because of the fact that we had to get a block off plate for the engine. So uh, after we ordered that block off plate, thank you Putty Mod, um, we actually dropped that guy right on, no check engine light after that and it's uh it's been pretty solid but like i said it's been raining and everything else of the sort like that so we haven't even really been able to take it out and drive so i wanted to share this experience with you guys and get the first drive of the s2000 on camera so um yeah let's do it Thank you guys for tuning in on this episode of Gearshift. Please 
please make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, let's go ahead and get this out to as many people as possible. Let's share the S2000 love, baby. Um, outside of that, I'll catch you guys on the next run. You guys be cool. Stay safe with this coronavirus out here. Make sure you guys wear your face mask. All right. Until next time, we're out.